Hello everyone, good evening. How are you? Oh, let me just move my wires out of shot if we can. Come on, out of the way. Nobody wants to see those. It's not a plain ball. Let me un unhook it and then you might not be able to see it. Hello everyone, I hope um, you're all well this evening. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely day. Um, it's been beautiful sunshine here um, in Sheffield. So I'm hoping that you guys have had um, this, been blessed with some lovely weather wherever you are. I know in some parts of the world it's not great, is it? So um, it's, it's nice, but it's been deathly nice. Um, so I hope wherever you are, you're safe and well. That's the main thing. So I believe I have got picture. Let's turn down the sound because you don't want to hear me twice. Once is enough. <laughs> um, and I can see that I've got a few people joining me, but um, I can't see your comments just yet. So let me just see if they appear. I think um, my screen looks like it's a little way behind the actual um, live so I might have to use my my other iPad because this one is rather old and doesn't seem to like to keep up with me when I'm trying to look at your lovely comments so and as I'm on my own this evening it's even more important that I see your comments easily I don't have my wonderful assistant to do that for me this evening so bear with me while I confer with other technology but I, I did, did decide to come on a little bit early possibly only a few seconds early for this um oh here we go I need to turn my noise down there we go so I can see myself on here um, and I can't see myself on here, so just please do just bear with me a moment while I just remove one iPad to exchange it for the other. <sighs> and then I'll be able to see what you're all saying. Make sure that we are live and that you um, can see what I'm doing. So that's the that's also very important is that when I've got the screen in front of me I can see what you can see and I can see if I've gone a bit gone a bit wobbly shall we say or a little bit um out of shot so I think we're sorted now yay <laughs> okay then so let's have a think um so I have got oh that seems very much wobbly doesn't it let me have a look oh yes that is most most wobbly. I must have just knocked it a little. There we go. Let's just move that back into the center. It's a little bit better, isn't it? And we'll just tip tip it that way. Sorry if that makes anybody a little bit queasy. <laughs> so who have we got with us this evening on this lovely, lovely uh, evening? I've got Nicola, I've got Jane, I've got Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Hello to Jenny. How are you, my darling? And Pauline is with us as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it's a really lovely evening and there's lots of exciting things going on on the TV um, with sports um, that we haven't been able to enjoy for such a long time. And there's lots of other um, exciting things happening with people being able to uh, meet up and stuff so I appreciate you spending your Thursday evening with me obviously we do also have this on replay so if you're watching it on the replay then welcome to you as well so let's have a think what so I had an idea a couple of ideas things that I wanted to do um, and uh, so this is a card actually I'll just mention this this is a card I made yesterday on my very first successful YouTube live um, it was I mean it was a little bit of a bumpy start I won't lie <laughs> it wasn't the most perfect and slick of um, productions but then when are they ever <laughs> um, 
but yeah we had some sound issues at the beginning so if you did happen to tune in while those sound issues were happening it would have been an offence to your ears uh, so I apologise for that but I have managed to edit that out of the replay uh, that is on YouTube now so you'll miss the first 10-15 sort of minutes of the live so some of the um, some of the background where I did the clouds in the I think I might make my card base out of a coloured cardstock. Um, I hadn't fully decided what colour I was going to use for my um, theme, but I feel like it might. There might be some greys and pinks in there. I don't know why I'm feeling a grey and pink theme. Um, so I'm going to make a card base using some of our pink cardstock um, because um, obviously this is a um, new shape, uh, mini, um, we don't have card blanks in this shape, so we're going to have to make our own. So to do that, um, really quite simple, um, I'm going to use my scoring tool here, um, and this has a little option for scoring and then for trimming as well. And um, I'm going to use my um, largest die in the set as my guide for where I want to score. So I'm going to line that up with the edge and you can see here I've got a nice little, um, little line here that I will be able to score. So I'm sorry if I'm a little bit off screen but I can't, can't shim it up um, any further unfortunately. But I'm just going to use my bone folder just to follow that that score line and then I'm going to fold my cardstock in half and use my bone folder just to flatten that out so that I've got a really nice clean crease and then uh, oh, I need to just flip that back over and then I can pop this away for the moment um, hopefully without knocking everything over Home. I don't want to play ball with it. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> so now, Lauren's here. Hello. Just popping on to say I can't come on tonight. I watched the catch up at some point. I'm on holiday with friends. Um, and in glorious sunshine, only thing missing is crafting. Hope we're all well. Oh, thank you so much for popping on to say hello. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely time. It's a great, great evening to be visiting friends. So have a wonderful evening. And yes, the, the replay will be available um, for you to watch afterwards. So I'm just going to line this up um, with the edge. And I'll just show you what I've done once I've just secured it with my tape. Um, but what I've done is I've put the um, the die up and felt where the cut line. So there's like a little there's a little groove in your die. That's the bit that uh, creates the cut. And I don't want to create the cut um, here. I'm just going to move this down ever so slightly because I can feel that I'm slightly over that that line. Um, I don't want to cut that edge because that's where my fold is and that's what's going to create my card base. So we're going to pop this through the die cutting machine which is a bit noisy. Hello Maria, how are you? Um, it's a Joe and Ant live evening, yes. Unfortunately no Ant this evening, I have to say. Um, but uh, it, it is me, I am here as always. So prepare, prepare your ears for noise, put yourself on on mute or something for a moment. Oh, and happy Canada Day to you, Annalisa. How do you celebrate Canada Day then? celebrate the day what are you doing anything special obviously you're watching us <laughs> that's special um, but uh, but yes is there anything that you will be doing today in particular so um 
I put this through my Gemini. Um, the Gemini is really good um, in terms of pressure. So generally speaking, it doesn't struggle going through two layers. Um, I have to apologise. I've got a little bit of a tickle in my throat. I think it's um, a bit of hay fever because I've had a little bit of um, eyes have been a bit irritated and my nose has been a bit irritated. So yeah, I think uh, possibly got a little bit of a uh, bit of the hay fever there. Um, hi to Lucy. How are you? How how are you? How are you? I was starting to read the sentence above and uh, the two got mixed up. Um, so Annalisa went to get a Starbucks frappuccino and got stuck in a huge downpour. Oh, so you're not enjoying lovely sunshine like we are. Oh dear, what a shame. Maria says, yes, it's getting better in the house walking or by yourself again. Um, you have your role later. I don't really know if that's the correct word in English. I think I know what you mean. It's like a, a walker, isn't it? Um, so that's uh, that's really good news. I'm glad you're getting better. Um, hello to Sharon and everyone in Facebook land. Um, so that's that's awesome. I'm so pleased you're all here. So, and now, I'm, so I've got to... Um, some of our paper here um, which I think will be really really cool um, on our background um, here and I, I like the idea of, of having this black and white stripe against the pink um, but also um, I, I want to cut out this scallop piece as well which I think will look really really cool um, so I'm, I'm torn really as to whether to have that as a background um, yeah I might have that as a background and then maybe use um, some pale pink let me see if I've got enough in my scraps to fit this die because it's not a huge die um, oh oh that's Oh, that's painful, that. It was almost the right size. Almost. Almost, but no cigar. So I keep all of my scraps in um, in uh, a little pocket like this. This is one of our pockets, um, I think. Um, oh, no, it's not. This is not one of ours. Um, but uh, I keep them in pockets similar to the ones... Um, of ours as well because their ours are actually better than this because ours are a bit bigger um and i could do with a bigger one because this is getting a little bit full this is one of ours which is much better and so it's much wider and much better quality um this must have been an old old one so pop that away and we'll get some of our our pink so i'll tell you the names of these shall i because i can never remember them so the name of the pink is bubblegum and the name of this uh, pale of blue, uh, pale of blue, good lord, pink, um, is Pink Souffle. There is not yet an icon on the computer for it. <laughs> it's this, it, yes, but then with two wheels in each site. Okay, yes, I think I know what you mean. I think I know what you're saying, Maria. Sharon says it's sunny and warm in Southern California. Hasn't California been struggling with some really high temperatures, uh, Sharon? I saw on the news earlier, I think it was California, where there's been, um, you know, you've had like ridiculously high temperatures that have made some people, um, some people haven't got, got on with that at all well. Um, so I hope, you're, I hope you're managing. I hope it's not too hot where you are. Uh, the heat is lovely, the sun is lovely, we, we are big sun worshippers here, but I've, I've realised as I've got a little bit older that I do struggle um, with the sun sometimes. Um, I, uh, I can only stand it for a certain amount of time and I just, it's like I overheat and I feel like I'm about to combust, so I have to uh, seek shade and coolness. <laughs> about using papers, cardstock and dies is that your your cards can come together quite quickly I think. 
So Sharon says, Washington and maybe Oregon. Your friend lives in Washington who's 114, but not there. Oof, thank goodness. Um, but that is mega. Wow. Um, you are some worshippers because you don't get a lot of sun. We avoid it. That's exactly it. We, when it comes out, it's like a miracle here. <laughs> we, we do get so ex overexcited. Um, British Columbia recorded something like 49.5 degrees without humidity. Oh, my goodness. That, that isn't good. That does sound pretty scary, scary weather, that. I couldn't cope with it in the heat of that, of that magnitude, most definitely not. So, um, like I say, I was going to go for this stripe in the background, but that might be a bit too, too much now, I feel. Um, I don't know. I'm undecided. Because I do want to use, now if we use the panda in the front, that could look quite cute though, couldn't it? Because of the black and white contrast. Should we just go for it and see what happens? What's the worst that could happen? This is the thing, is that I do spend a lot of time deliberating over something and sometimes you've just got to go for it, haven't you? Um, for the most part, everything's going to turn out pretty pretty cute, I think, because we're using good good products um, that all go together really well. So, so we've got so that we could also go for a bit of a rainbow situation because I have been dying to do something a bit more rainbowy. I guess rainbowy is that a word? <laughs> um, and then we could see that's kind of cute isn't it that is kind of cute um, and then I've got my little uh, my little um, cat in his teacup there so what do we think do we like the rainbow do we like the pink I'm not even sure if I like the pink now oh so many decisions um, or so we've got that with the cat in the teacup or we've got the black and white with the pink and then the panda I think I'm gonna go with the panda and the black and white looking at it on screen I think that looks really quite cute and then we can have our little panda yeah let's go with that and see what happens like I said what's the worst that could happen so um, I'm going to trim this down uh, and I'm actually going to use some of my um, Jane's on my train <laughs> on the black and white train so I'm going to just I am going to commit to this now I'm going for it kids so we're just going to add some um, some of my liquid glue and this is almost gone, so I'm leaving it upside down <laughs> so I can get every last bit out of it. And then I'm going to tip this up. Now, should we do we go? Do we go this way? Ooh, or do we go this way? Hmm. I'm going to go this way. <gasps> oh no! I've done it now. Stick it down. Yeah, I quite like it this way. So now I've stuck it down, I can just use my um, scallop piece as my guide and we'll just trim that, trim that out. Jenny says she keeps going on offline, your internet's playing up, blooming internet, bane of my life is the internet. So um, I was explaining on the live last night that um, we have had a new router. Um, which is a, a new fancy spangly router which is lovely but what that means is that every piece of technology that we have in the house now doesn't want to work because it was all connected up to the previous router so we've had to redo everything and at great frustration to us both because um, we uh, yeah some bits of it didn't work so one of the issues that I had last night on the live was that my lighting wasn't very good because my main light in here which is a super duper daylight light um, wouldn't 
wouldn't be rec couldn't be recognised with the new router. So it meant that um, the light in here was at its kind of normal settings, um, and it was um, then quite. Um, not as bright white light as I normally have it on. So I have it on really bright white light, like daylight light, so that you get a really good view um, when uh, when we're live. So it's not the kind of light that you would typically probably want on all the time for general <laughs> general living um, because it's, it is very, very bright. But um, for obviously for doing something like this, I need the brightness um, so it meant that we did have quite a bit of shadow on screen um, but it, it was it was it was okay you know it was the, the main thing for me was it actually worked you know we actually managed to to get it working so that a, a picture um, was sustainable because when if you've seen me do them before um it's just it's just um either frozen or crashed or the picture has been so bad i mean not even just like standard definition level it's just been really grainy really poor quality so it just hasn't been possible to do it so goodness i was so excited um and Lisa says, I'm so happy you got it to work. I know I am. It's like, it's been my mission for so long. So there's still a bit of work that needs to be done. Um, it, like I say, it's not a perfect system yet. The volume, I think, might be a little bit quiet still from what I could gather from the playback. Um, and the, um, like I said, the lighting wasn't the best. And I want to try and get it, uh, the resolution better so that you're watching it in HD. Because that is what we want to see, isn't it? Um, that's definitely what we want to see. So, um, let me think now then, colours for, for this little guy. Now, I feel like we want a little pop of colour here, um, for our little, um, our little guy. And I feel like I wished I'd kind of done maybe some of the accessories. So let's get my, I was just thinking one dimensionally there, and I didn't think I'd need anything else, but actually... Now I think about it, I do think that I might have um, a little bit of some of these accessories on here. Jenny says, that's a good idea what, what you've done then to rub, the, rub your cover on the stamp platform as you, as you have bad wrists, says Jenny, and no strength. That's exactly why I do it. Um, Jenny, I, I don't, my wrists are not too bad, but I do find that particularly when I'm sat down, I can't get enough pressure um, to create the, um, the the impression that I need. So a lot of it, I think, is because um, because I am sat, sat down rather than being stood up. Because uh, I think when you stood up, you can use the force of your body, can't you, to help you push down. Um, but when you're sat down, it's it's much more difficult to do that. So um, actually, while I'm stamping, I might stamp my sentiment as well, because I think I know what sentiment I want. So, um, so yeah, so I do find that that really helps. I know some people, um, when Angie um, has been on, she's mentioned using um, a dry wipe eraser. Um, which is quite a cool idea to be able to use um, to give you that little bit of extra extra pressure when you're stamping. But I like I say, I just use this and it just really does help me. Um, I'm not really even sure why it makes that much of a difference, but it really does. So I'm happy with that, that uh, first impression. So I think, I, um, or am I? No, I'm going to do that again because... I think my jammy dodger at least needs a bit more in the centre there. There we go. Yes, that's much better. So, um, using my chamois here just to wipe those off. And then, like I say, I think I know what sentiment I want to use. And because we're doing black, uh, we've got some black stripes here and we've got a little panda and so on. I'm thinking I'm going to do a little bit of heat embossing. So we've not done any of that for a while. 
So here is my little scrap pile of black and I'm going to get my, I'll use this little, um, little doodad here that's got a bit of anti-static in it and give that a good rub over with some of that and put that back in there. before it dries out and then I need some of my there it is my embossing ink um, so the sentiment that I thought I would go for because we've not got a lot of real estate here you see so let me show you this is where we're going to be popping our um, image so our sentiment hasn't got a lot of space so the sentiment of you are terrific, sorry I'm not in shot there am I, let's move this up. So our sentiment of you are terrific will go all the way across. Um, actually that might look quite cool because we could do it all the way across there couldn't we? Right I've talked myself into that so let's just pop, pop that on there. Oops move that. I do have like a little, little bit of wet just on my, somewhere on here. I think it's inside actually. Um, so let's pop some of this embossing ink on here and I can do that with just my, the tip of my fingers. Now I need my white embossing powder which is hiding behind my iPad here and I do have a little bit of scratch paper behind me here. So I want to grab this and cover this with this white before it decides to dry on me. So the embossing ink is slow drying for the purpose of being able to do this. Um, because you want you want a slow drying ink so that you have time to do this. So um, I do have a few little spots. Move this out of the way. Um, I have to move it that way, and then you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just wiping away some of those little bits that are still on the background there. So. The black um, cardstock still looks a little bit dull because we um, we used our anti-static powder. But what we will do once we've um, heat set it is we can buff that up with either with a little bit of kitchen towel or with um, our microfiber cloth. So where's my heat tool? I've not used this for a little while actually. So again, a bit of noise, so apologies. I'll move this out of the way. So if you're a little bit worried about potentially burning your fingers, a good thing to do is to use your tweezers. And I have, I do like to just let my heat tool heat up a little bit before I apply it to the cardstock and then we'll watch that powder melt. Oh, I'll come a bit further this way. I have to get used to where my, new, where my camera is now because I've changed my camera position so I keep um, coming out of shot don't I so I have to remember that um, I think okay so I'm not going to touch it straight away because it is still when it's warm still or a little hot still it is likely to be smudged so don't put your finger straight in it <laughs> so I'm going to pop that to one side um, because that will need a little bit of trimming 
Um, now there is a, a coordinating die for that, so um, so I might use that or I might leave it as a straight edge. I've not decided on that one just yet. So let me just pop my um, embossing ink out of the way. So now we need to do a bit of colouring in, don't we? So this is our colour scheme so far. This is um, so this is interesting because I think I've shown you guys this before, but I have swatched my Jammy Dodger previously. My assistant's not here, Maria. No, my assistant is working nights this evening, so he can't be with us, unfortunately. He would if he could, bless him, but he is... He's off um, saving saving lives. <laughs> He's, hopefully he doesn't have any lives to save tonight. Hopefully they have a quiet evening. Um, he, uh, he's a firefighter, so he works uh, works overnight um, every so often. So um, so yeah, so he can't be with me. Excuse me while I just blow my nose. So not only is the hay fever uh, potentially causing me some issues, um, I do think that the lights in here do make my nose run, <laughs> which is a weird thing. So, um, so yes, so um, so yes, so I had a few um, few adventures yesterday with technology, but some successes as well, which is always good. Um, so yes, yeah, so I was very excited about that. So I was very excited as well um, about the sale that we had on. Um, I know lots of you grabbed some bargains and I was so chuffed um, about that, that uh, a lot of you will ma manage to, to get your hands on the, some, some fabulous bargains. So I'm just going to use um, the, uh, the um, this is the, oh, I'm doing it again, aren't I? I need to pop that there. <laughs> so you can see but I'm just going to add a little bit of a, a darker um, shade the E31 just around some of these little scallops here where um, I'm, I'm kind of imagining that this has been baked so this is a, a bit so imagine um, when you've done if you've done any baking I'm not a big baker I used to be um, because we used to have a tea shop so I had to do some baking but if you, um, anything, any kind of biscuit or anything that you put in the oven, there would be bits of it that would be a little bit browner along the edges. So this is what I'm trying to emulate with, um, with my markers here. So um, just around some of these edges is going to be a slightly darker bit where it's just the oven's just picked it up and around where there are kind of grooves or um, indentations in the uh, in the biscuit itself they will create shadows so once I've done um, the three layers of colours I'm then just going to go over with my lightest shade and just blend those together so that they don't look so harsh they look part of the biscuit and it just keeps it really nice and um, nice and pale not too complicated so nothing too fancy um, but yeah just a really cool effect so um, what else have I got to tell you then this evening all heroes police ambulance and fire memory says they are is an absolute hero bless him um, at home and at work. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do the Jammy Dodger Centre because this is going to help me decide I think what the rest of my colour scheme is going to look like. So because we've got pinks and reds now. So pinks and reds, very strong colours aren't they? Um, do, 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 where's my... Uh, What's that one? R27, there we go. That's the one I'm looking for. So I like the R24, R27 shades of, of red. Um, I feel like they're just a really nice, um, kind, almost cherry kind of a, a red, um, rather than uh, too orangey or too, um, 
too dark so I like that or you know too salmony so that's really cool for our jammy dodger for our so now we, we kind of see where our, our color scheme is going um, now we can either continue with a similar colour scheme with our little panda here or we can add a little pop of colour which might be really quite cool um, or we could, uh, we, could, we could continue in a kind of, yeah I feel, I'm feeling like, um, I feel like I might want to go maybe yellow I know that might be a little controversial but let's have a look if we did like pinks and pinks and yellows just might be really quite sweet but I want like um, not a bright yellow more of a, a, a soft buttercup type of yellow um, this is pale lemon this is oh and that is buttercup yellow there you go <laughs> I uh, I said it and it appeared so I need something that is a bit more uh, a bit warmer really most of my yellows are quite um, quite acidic um, like barium yellow is a very acidic color um, so it's quite hard really to get something that is quite um, a muted color tone in the yellows or at least that's what I find um, the colours that are a bit more, um, a bit softer are also a bit too orangey for what we're looking for. So the YR shades are a bit too, a bit too orangey. So let's see, let's work with what we've got here. Canary yellow, oof, that's very yellow. So this first colour, what was that? <laughs> what was that? That one looks the best. We've got some Y11 pale yellow trying all of the lovely yellows pale yellow looks quite nice and um, maybe the I think it was the Y triple zero possibly which colour was that then? could have been the Y02 that was the canary yellow Hmm, maybe it's the Y0. Did anybody see what I did there? Yeah, the Y0 would be that one. So let's go, let's try these three colours and see what happens. <laughs> so let's go with, and I may decide, I made a big mistake here. We don't like it we'll just stamp him again eh I just like the idea of maybe doing some quite pastely colors here so um, the Y11 is next so um, so I'm going to start with the darker color now coming from the outside in um, and bringing that color into the middle like so and darker in the teacup itself and then around the inside of the handle and the bit that's touching the sides is where that shadow would be so I'm going to bring this colour in a little bit more um, and we'll do a bit more of the Y double zero here just to bring that in I feel like that's really quite nice and fresh oh I didn't blend my handle there did I and then um, the Y21 is now going to be our kind of our shadow um, so I'm just going to use that just really sparingly to create a bit of depth rather than add colour because um, I don't want it to end up being too dark 
so what I've been working on today then guys um you wouldn't have chosen yellow and pink no I know I, I'm, I'm not sure what made me go that way I was considering green but yeah I don't know I just thought let's be different I want to do something that's a bit I'm feeling sunshiny and cheery I think that's what's done it um, Annalisa so like I say it could be a huge mistake but um, I just felt like doing I just felt like it'd be quite pretty but then we can go with a bit of green do we go with green or do we go with blue on the inside or do we go with pink no too much pink what do we think what do we think <laughs> I think it's gonna look quite cute so we could go with a really pale like um, a really soft blue um, I feel like that might look really quite quite sweet so let's have a look let's let's try this again this is going for all the really like candy kind of pastel kind of colors just keeping it really muted um and so and soft for me i mean they're still quite bright colors i appreciate that they're not totally um pale but i feel like that's it that lighter blue is just not doing the trick for me but i'm gonna leave a little bit of a highlight at the top of that zigzag and I think I want to um, probably come in a little bit more oops, from the sides again just to give that little bit of illusion of depth just here and there nothing too wild light green or pistachio green oh I read that too late sorry I went for it didn't I totally went for it I think that they would have been good colour choices as well Maria I think they would um, part of me is wishing that I'd gone that route now this um, pale P B G triple zero. I'm just going to use to add a little bit of shadow to these cute little sugar cubes and to the top of my um, what do you call that? A tea bag, of course. I know that that is a tea bag because I love tea <laughs> so tea the tea I'm gonna do in shades of brown even though technically speaking it's probably not fully brown but um, I don't want to deviate too much from our color scheme here by adding any more colors to it so I'm just gonna add a little bit of the E31 that we used on our jammy dodger and then I'm going to add some of the E33 here and I'm just going to add that in little dots to make it look like the little tea flakes leaf flakes leaves <laughs> um, and I think maybe we either go for a red or we go for um, the blue I think um, I think the blue I was tempted to red because you do often get um the well the Yorkshire tea bags that we pop in your um in your orders are red aren't they so that would have gone well but I want it to match my little um little guy here and then for uh, just for our panda because we haven't given him any colour um I'm gonna take the cool grey one and just add a little bit of shadow to the side of his face um to the bottom of his chin there and then the side of his face here as well 
just so that um, he's not totally flat and then I do have a cool grey zero as well which I can use to just blend that out even further so if you're worried about kind of ruining his his whiteness then you could just go in with straight in with the cool grey uh, zero um because that is obviously much paler and then i'm just going to blend that back with my blender brush um just to soften those edges so that it's not as obvious that we've we've added that little bit of gray cool so we can chop all of this out now um and this um sentiment is dry enough now for me to be able to just buff it up with my microfiber cloth there we go and now we've got a brighter sentiment let me pop all of these away oh, put them in the right place my very very well organized system that i have now for my um, pens all labelled up as well so I can easily identify them which has been a huge help let me tell you um, okay so diketing I'm wondering Yosh tea bags that are bl uh, blue are decaf ones you're absolutely correct there I had forgotten that so I'm just going to chop into this I want to use my smaller diagram machine just because it's not as noisy as the big boy machine so obviously you can use your um sm your larger diagram machine if you wanted to because you could cut them all at once and then that would be a little bit quicker but um it's also very noisy on screen i appreciate so this is probably the better option for us, isn't it? So let's um, let's get our dies here, and this is the die for our little panda. So I am just going to line this up here with a bit of tape. So we, um, what I've been working on today um, is uh, the, deta the details for our next colouring class. So I know a lot of you were uh, being keen to, how cute is that, um, keen to know about that. And I know when we discussed it before, when we were um, talking about what class you guys would like, um, I know a lot of you like the um, would like more um, help with... Uh, skin tones um dealing with um uh, what was i gonna say what was i gonna say just people in general um so hair skin clothing that kind of thing so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a coloring class with people and uh, you'll get uh, as with the last class that we did you'll get free digi stamps um so that you can color along with me as part of the class and the class will be in um several stages will last a couple of hours um and um or until we're done <laughs> um it'll be available for you to watch um at your leisure after the class as well so if you're not available at the time of the actual class itself that's fine you will be able to access the class um, at any time for 30 days afterwards obviously it means that you can't ask questions live um, but I will be um, on hand to any, answer any questions after the event as well for that 30 day period um, while it's available um, and uh, yeah you will we will be covering things like um like i say skin tones different skin tones um hair different hair colors um different techniques to achieve different hair uh, styles um and finishes for different ethnic eth ethnic 
ethnicities I can't say that word um, so yeah it, it will be a really good class and the images um, that are part of the class you I think you're really gonna love that's really cute um, as well so you'll be able to make some really really fun cards with those perfect for summer so um, so yeah so I'm really excited I'm hoping it's gonna be in the next it's definitely gonna be this month um, so hopefully in the next sort of 10 days or so we will be able to get that up and running for you and like I say if you're not available on the actual day of the, um, the class it doesn't matter because you will still be able to access it and get all of the benefits um, of your class um, ticket so and then I've got a little little sugar cubes so um i think i will cut this out with the coordinating die because it's just really nice to have um that coordinating die so this is going to give us a little bit of an outline um if i can line it up correctly you just need to make sure that you can see all of your letters if you're unsure and I'll just move that ever so slightly. If you're unsure, uh, one great tip is to cut out the die shape on its own just out of some cardstock like this, like we've done here. And then pop your image um, that you've, you know, that you've um, stamped. So not the die cut image, but the image that you've stamped. So I'll show you on this one, actually. This is a good one. Although I've just thrown that away. So. Um, so we've we've die cut the shape here and we've got our image here and then we're going to line that up with the um, with our image make sure that it's put, positioned perfectly over the top of that so we've got the outline that we want and then we can take our die and line up our die in that slot and where that slot is correct is where it will fit so um, so there think is right um, and then you just you fit it into that space and you know that you've got it in exactly the right space then to die cut I hope that makes sense I hope I've explained that right <laughs> um, but that does make it so much easier so let's let's see if I've done this um, on a wing and a prayer without doing that and then we can start putting our card together And this, like I say, this is a bit of an experiment, <laughs> but uh, I think I like it. <laughs> so, yay, look how cute that looks. I love that. Okay, let's move my plates out of the way and pop my die safely uh, back where it, it should live. I don't think I'm going to use that bit of cardstock again. So now let's have a look where we're going to pop our. So we've got our little um, little bear here, and I want to just pop our little jammy dodger just behind him there, um, which is very cute. And then our little tea bag can be coming across the top there. And then our little um, sugar cubes are on the bottom. I think that looks really quite cute. Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's move these. I'm going to pop some um, these on with a bit of dimension. Um, I think it's needed. So I'm going to take some of my super thick tape here. And I love this mini um, mini shape, mini slimline shape. I think it's really very, very cool. Um, because you don't have to um, feel so intimidated by having a huge, huge space to fill. Um, which sometimes is the case with a normal size slimline. So um, this is really good because it means that we... We don't have to fill as big a space, but we still get that kind of that slimline effect. So um, 
let's remove our tape don't have any in the middle there I feel like maybe that might be a mistake so but I've it's not quite wide enough <laughs> for me to put another strip so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some smaller bits down because I don't want it to um, to bow in the middle that would be would be a tragedy for our panda we don't want him to collapse do we so here we go Jenny says very pretty thank you hello to Anaria how are you Anaria is that have I said that right so, sorry if I've mispronounced your name I did not mean to so um so, yeah, so that's what I've been working on today, I've been working on the details for the class. Also still working on the next release, which I'm hoping I'm going to be able to announce for you the dates for that in the next week or so as well, which would be great news. Just waiting to hear from uh, the manufacturers in terms of delivery um, of, of everything. So that's um, exciting. I might have done that a little bit on the wonk, but don't judge me. And then these guys, I think, also probably need to be on. Um, I think we need a bit of dimension here as well. So let's have a look what we've got foam pad wise. For um, some minis, I might use some of my, my shaker tape here. Um, I've got a very battered piece <laughs> of uh, shaker tape here but this might work for just some little bits of it might work here for my um, for my sentiment so I'm just going to pop a little bit just snip off some tiny bits to pop on the back of here Again, another another tip if you've got more time, and I meant I saw somebody say that they have a cry cut machine. Um, I don't have um, a cry cut. I do have a silhouette, but I don't think that is. Uh, mine is a very 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 old silhouette, um, and so is not um, capable of doing the um, the the outline die cuts um, for your um, stamps. So, um, unfortunately, I can't use mine for that. Um, and I don't think that would work very well for, for us on a live either. I think I might struggle with doing that during a live session anyway. Um, so that's that. Um, and then let's use some of these other ones for our... other images here. Is that going to fit on there? Yeah. And then we'll have a few of these larger ones on the back of our little panda. So yes, I'm hoping um, that uh, I can let you know what's, what's coming really soon. Maybe a couple um, of smaller dots here onto our handle, just so that that again, that doesn't um, doesn't collapse. Um, if you're posting these, that kind of thing, you don't want them to collapse, do you? So let's just pop that there and. Actually, I've put my um, adhesive all over here, but I'm tucking this guy in the back. So, actually, before I remove, before I do this, I am going to remove this. Do a bit of surgery here because um, I'm not remembered that we're actually going to pop this behind our teacup aren't we so that doesn't need to be popped up so let's just remove that so thankfully whew, they haven't fully stuck down so it's always a good idea 
not to fully push you any of your your adhesive right down until you're sure where you want everything to go so this is going to need a bit of liquid glue Louise says she doesn't know how you could use a cry cut along with this kind of card making so um I don't know if the cry cut is the same as like a scan and cut but I think potentially what happens is that you scan your images so that you can you, you can then cut around them I think but again, I don't know much about the um, about the cry cut. I have to say, um, I've got a silhouette, and it, like I say, it's an old silhouette, so it it doesn't do that um, fancy stuff, unfortunately. Um, so I have to uh, use my dies. Um, I do use my silhouette to cut out shapes, though, which is very good. Um, and you can buy files from the silhouette. Um, uh, store to to do that um, and just download them and then you can cut out various shapes card shapes that kind of thing but to be honest with you I don't use it a great deal I pr do prefer using my dies um, that's just just personal preference but it does definitely have its place and I also like to use it for um, when I'm testing just testing out my designs so um, I might test out stencil designs for example using it um, it's quite good for doing that for me it's not as good as the real thing so obviously we have our stencils professionally made um, and the, um, the, the, cut, uh, the cutting machines that you get won't cut the thickness of mylar that you need for a professional stencil um, so if you want your stencils to last um, having them you know buying them um, being made with the, the thicker mylar is definitely the way to go um, but when I'm just testing out whether a design works it definitely helps so um, I just want that going kind of off off the uh, page oh, maybe like that yeah that's good that's good there oh that's cute I like that um it doesn't have the scan and cut option you have the cry cut air too oh I don't know then um, I, th I figured that's what uh, what was being said but I made an assumption that was incorrect <laughs> so I don't know but I can't remember who said it but uh, if they're still on maybe they could let us know Annalisa has the scan and cut and has to say die cut is the best they're the most precise they are the most precise and I do think you also get that kind of beveled look um, with the die cuts that you don't get with a, a scan and cut um, so it gives you that kind of that that rounded edge so I, you, you obviously can't see but you'll have seen yourself you get this rounded edge to your um, to your cuts that you just don't get with a scan and cut so this is looking very very cute I am really really happy with this um, what I am inclined to do is as always is add a little bit of bling to it oh I think I've just knocked over something so let's have a look what, what bling do I have it would be appropriate and I, I'm feeling like just I don't want to like add too much but I'm thinking maybe some of our little black enamel dots or our white enamel dots might be quite cute on there or a pop of yellow maybe not that I think I've got anything that is particularly yellow um, got some of our uh, little candy hearts here um, which there are some yellows in here that might be quite sweet oh I think that might be the very thing so I've got mine in a bag yours will come in a little um, a little bag that's a little bit more manageable than this one 
Um, so we've got uh, some blue as well that we could potentially add. Oh, is that going to be a bit too much? I think sticking to the yellow might be the theme. Just bring out some of that yellow that's in the... Um, maybe just feel like um, the yellow hearts are the thing aren't they Annalise they're just just the ticket and I think that it feels like there should be one down here but then that's not an that's not an odd number I'm gonna have to add another one but then I feel like I might be adding too many I'm going to add them and then I'm going to look on screen and say, did you go overboard? Did you go mad? What do we think? Did we go mad? Let's move those because we've not used those. Oh, I think that looks quite cute, doesn't it? The yellow hearts have just finished it off nicely. So I do love these like little clay hats. Sorry if my head's popped into me while I'm just trying to move things out of the way. So, um, yeah, that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. So I've got some of my glossy accents here. I'm going to use this to stick these in place. So let's just tighten that up. Elamel dots would look nice, but yeah, the yellow hearts were good, weren't they? Yes. So I just need to... Test my glossy accent. Oh, yeah, it worked first time. That never happens. So, what's everybody up to this evening? Are we all just watching? Um, anybody crafting along? I think I've spent a bit too long in the sun today because I mean, I was only out there for an hour um, at about five o'clock. Um, and uh, yeah, it's given me a bit of a bit of a headache, I think. So here we go. Last one. Oh, I'm really pleased with how this has turned out because I wasn't sure, you know. I wasn't sure. So, and I th I think the colour scheme is really really pretty. Um, Louise is crafting. What are you crafting? What are you doing? Tell us what you're making. Um, Marie says she's just watching with her mouth open from my, my beautiful card. That's so sweet. Um, so some last minute touches. Um, I'm going to grab my stickles here. Jane says she's still working. She's got jewelry duty next week. So trying to wrap up everything at work before you're out of the office. Oh no, jewelry duty. Oh, I hope it's something exciting. <laughs> I've never been called up for jewelry duty um, and it's always fascinated me like how people are selected and what things that you might uh, you might get to get to uh, be involved in it's all very exciting stuff Lucy says she loves this card thank you um so I've added some stickles to my um to my sugar cubes because I love that doing that with sugar cubes because it makes them look sugary <laughs> um which I think is really cool um so and a couple of bits that I want to add to my um, image here as well. As you know, I love my white jelly roll pen. So I'm going to um, I'm going to add some highlights, some to his little ears here, and to his paws. And I know his paws haven't um, I haven't really got a really great impression on his paws. I don't think you can see it on screen as well as I can see it in real life. <gasps> I've just put my put my hand in my uh, in my stickles. How annoying! It didn't ruin it though. It just just ruined my fingers. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to add some um, highlights around here. 
here as well and I could probably add a bit of glossy accents to that jam which I think would be very very cool and I'm also going to add some um, of my you, you know I love my black glaze pen as well for just giving a little bit of gloss to noses um, or to eyes and I'm definitely going to pull out that glossy accents again so Angie is packing up a craft room. Oh no, what a what a nightmare. And Louise is making a birthday card with a Highland Coo. Oh, how amazing. Um, Jane says she hopes it will be over quickly and not a long drawn out fraud case or something. Yeah, that would be a bit boring, that wouldn't it? You need something that's gonna be a bit more interesting. I mean, I don't know if there's been a jury on the Britney Spears conservatorship case but that is one that would have been interesting to be part of that is the kind of case that I want to be involved in free Britney <laughs> so glossy accents on our little bit of jam that is giving me life and I think I think some of my um my little glazers has, has leaked a little bit on his nose but I'm not going to stress I'm not going to stress about that because I think he looks very cute. So what do we think? I'm thinking that we've done a pretty good job there. Um, I'm not sure if I could fit another one in. We might be able to fit a really quick one in if we're, if we're very, very clever. I mean, like, we'd have to be super duper clever, wouldn't we? Um, maybe with, with a bit of stenciling um perhaps what do we think can't stop can i i know well the thing is i know i've always booked in till half past um and uh so i don't like to i don't like to finish early because we're we're early aren't we um so i do love it annalisa i am terrible i actually literally don't stop this is the problem this is this is aunt's problem with me is that I don't know when to stop <laughs> so um, but very funny um, so let's have a look let's let's tidy up um, some bits and then I can figure out if we can do maybe a nice quick quick card um, maybe but I enjoyed that I thought that was really sweet and fun I liked I liked that I liked how that came out but I, I also haven't done any stenciling have I for a while um, any ink blending and you know some of the techniques that I really love have a lovely evening Marie thank you so much for joining me um, and uh, I'm glad you're you're feeling good and hopefully we've we've also given you a little bit of inspiration this evening so my thoughts are um, let's do a cheeky bit of oh dear I've split my my packaging now look in my in my haste so let me pop this away. Do, 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 do. That can all go in its home because we're done with that. Um, and let's have a look at some of our gorgeous stencils here. Um, and I'm sure there's one here that I've not really used an awful lot. So. Um, So this one is a really fun one. Do you know what? This I've got an idea. I've got an idea for this one. So um, this one is also very, very cool. Um, and I will have to use that. Um, and this one is also very cool. Oh, oh, so many choices. Oh, and this one. Mmm. Mmm. I think I might like this one now. Yeah, let's go with this one. I'm gonna do this one. 
choice made um, and we're going to need some cardstock. So I know I'm going to be making an A6, no bigger than an A6 size card, so I'm going to use just an A6 piece of card rather than doing it on a larger piece. And I'm going to grab my... Now if, if we had more time, I would definitely be do, using a bit of texture paste um, beautiful card says Jenny. Thank you for the inspiration. Have a good evening. Um, I suspect Joe can't do a 15 minute card. I never could. Can't stop myself from adding more and more. I suspect I can't either. Um, Lindsay says when you're in the groove it's hard to stop. Gotta love a quick card though. Give yourself a 15 minute quick card challenge. We can do it in 15 minutes. I can't do 15 minutes. I'm absolutely certain that I probably can't do it. But let's, let's, let's try. Let's, we'll do as quick as we possibly can. My problem is, is I talk too much and I'm sure Ant will also testify to this, <laughs> um, this event, um, that I do actually talk too much. So, and that obviously prevents me from being able to do anything quickly. <laughs> um, I'm going to choose some pretty colors here. Um, we have got some squeezed lemonade, we've got some twisted citron, uh, yes, I think, I think actually I might need a darker green. I always feel like the twisted citron is not quite dark enough. I'm going to go with some mode, mode lawn. I'll leave the twisted citron there just in case. And I love my peacock feathers. So, starting with some squeezed lemonade. Let's go with my yellow brush here and um, let's, let's start from the centre and work outwards. So, um, and the great thing about this, um, this stencil is it doesn't matter that we're on a smaller, it's smaller than the 6x6 the, uh, six six because um, it's it's this it's a really cool repeating pattern that would be good that would look great wherever you did it so um green my green brush and i'm going to work that around the yellow and i want to make sure i'm leaving enough space along the outside for my peacock feathers so we're just going all the way around that's really cool already <laughs> and then I'm going to go back in for have you found the dandelion stencil because that's really cool have I got any left that yeah I think I've got some left that one has been a very, very popular one, so do hope that we have got some left. So I've just gone back over that uh, green with some of the squeezed lemonade just to give it a little bit of a, a blend. Um, now I'm going to use um, a different blue brush, one that I've used um, with a bit of a darker ink um, for the peacock feathers which is going to look so gorgeous around the outside of here and I'm trying not to put my fingers in anything um, so you can use um, a little post-it note or something just so that you don't put your, your fingerprints in anything. I am a bit uh, a bit prone to doing that. And then I'm going to go back over with some of the green just to blend that through. This is going to look really pretty. And then again, I think we'll go back in with some yellow as well. Yeah, I like it. So you are going to get a bit of green. 
onto your brush so just give it a little bit of a a rub off with your microfiber cloth um, and pop these away and again I'm just going to rub the, um, the excess ink off there and again off this one because this has picked up a bit of the green so if we just rub that really quite firmly that'll get the majority of that off and I can just put that in there okay so let's uh, let's reveal see if we manage to do a good job yay look at that isn't that pretty so let me just clean my stencil and then we can move on to the next stage which hopefully we're going to make good time it might not be 15 minutes but it could be quite close because we could in fact I know what we're going to do I know what I'm going to do it's not going to be 15 minutes guys but it'll be close it will be close so where did I put the um did I put it back <laughs> yes I think I probably did didn't I so uh, I shall leave that there then for a moment. I'm going to have to cut this down to size um, because I just want to just trim it down a little bit. So let's remove my um, my stenciling mat here um, because I don't need that just at the moment. And um, I have my um, these are my A6 layering dies. I'm going to grab the, hmm, let me think, do I want to go for the second die or shall we go for, I might go for the third because then we'll have a nice, a nice white border around our card which I, I like. So I'll just line that up there where I want it, making sure I've got plenty of that colour coming through. This is such a pretty stencil, I mean it, it's just really really cool. So I am going to have to put this through my big machine, so apologies. Hi guys, I am back. Um, well that was a silly silly fail on my part wasn't it, because my phone wasn't plugged in which means that I, um, uh, yeah, my phone cut out, <laughs> basically. So, um, so yeah, so I'm just uh, hoping that you guys can see me now. Maybe you can hear the cat, uh, because um, I can hear the cat. Hello, cat. I think he wants me. Right, here we go. So, I understand if you guys um, don't, don't, <laughs> don't want to come back um, and watch now after, um, after that, but um, I, uh, I'm going to continue because, you know, it's one of those things, once you start, you have to finish, don't you? So, I need to stamp out my little birds here. So, I'm going to pull out some more of my scraps of stamping card um, and see if I've got any that are big enough here. I'll have to use a full piece I think. Pop them in there and then I'm thinking that um, I might uh, do the, um, I either go sparkly with the sentiment or I go tone on tone with the um, the uh, celebrate I'm not sure but we could do black oh so many decisions so many decisions so let me stamp my images first and then we'll, we'll make we'll come to the bigger decisions later the small decisions we can deal with <laughs> um, let me just pop this to one side and I'm just going to pop the card this was the card that we finished on the earlier post if anybody's just joining I'm going to pop that to one side um, so that I don't put my finger in those stickles and then let's um, 
stamp out these cute little birds these swirly birds are really cute i don't normally do birds my mum is very very um superstitious about birds in fact um which i think has rubbed off rubbed off um on me yes i'm back um <laughs> i uh, i had a problem louise and um, i hadn't put my phone on to charge and so um we've been on so long it decided it had had enough <laughs> so um again i'm just going to get my cloth here and just give myself a bit of a hand and then um, I'm going to do these in some different shades to our background because um, I think that'll look really nice. Um, now my 15 minute card is not coming together um, but this is going to be a quick card. Um, we obviously have had a little technical issue that has made it take a little bit longer. Um, than I would have liked <laughs> but hey ho we're still having fun aren't we so um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a let's do a little bit of a nice pink I like pink let's try let's try this um, and I'm going to a little bit of a lighter shade of pink here so this is going to be like just a pretty pink um that was the r double zero i've got the r20 here now and i'm just going to create just a little bit of a paler um belly situation there and then as you've seen me do many times before to create a round rounder face um, I'm coming in from the edges and leaving the center of the face that bit paler um, and then I will blend Blend it out. But I'm not blending out that um, that little bit on his chest. I'm going to leave that. And then the final colour is the R21. And again, this is just going to give us a little bit of depth. Actually, the R21 doesn't feel dark enough. I am going to go with the R22. So this, these are kind of a salmony pink colours, um, really, rather than um, bright pinks. I'm just using the very tip of my brush just to get it right into those those edges because again I don't want to colour him too much in this darker pink um, so I want him to stay quite quite pale and then if anybody was watching the previous one um, can you remember the colours of yellow that I used <laughs> because I want to use them again um, I'll just bring that together in the middle so I think I use the R21 the R11 um, is a good one so and what I'm going to do here this is where I'm going to just add a bit of color to the tail and to his head so um, just a bit of yellow there I'm just um, not worrying about where that yellow goes um, and then the R21 is just going to um, just add a bit of depth to that and make it look a little bit, uh, I guess, a little bit creamier. And I think that would be a good colour actually for his beak. So we'll go straight in there with his beak. So for the other bird, um, 
I do want to um, I think go with a little bit of a, a contrasting colour so maybe a little bit of this kind of um, yeah that's nice bit of an orangey colour just to make the distinction between the two um, yeah I'm gonna do a little belly on this one as well so I'll just turn them around a little bit um, and I think these will be really nice colours and colours I'm using colours tonight that I don't normally use <laughs> so um, sometimes it's really good to do that just mix things up a little bit and use slightly different colours so again I'm going to make a little bit of a, a paler belly um, colour there I'm not showing you my colours again am I so this is the YR20 I'm just going to use that to blend his face and add the highlights to the tip of his wings and then the YR, I think, did I go straight in with the YR14 there, I feel like I did so I might need something a little bit darker than that again I don't want to be too dark so this is the YR 16. I think that's going to work. Just like it. A little orange bird. Cute, huh? I like him. I normally do, would do like maybe a bluebird or something a little safer but I really like, I like this guy but I think we'll give him the same kind of the same kind of yellow plumage well I could have gone a bit green oh do you know so the good thing about yellow is that it will cover up Thank you Charlotte, I'm back, I fixed it. So this is the YG01 and this will then coordinate really nicely with our background I feel. Um, so, um, do, 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 do. this is YG, oh yeah that's perfect, so this is YG03, let's just take that out of the shadow there and just deepen that a little bit, perfecto and then the um, Y21, oh wrong end, can be a beak for this guy, yes very nice, okay then so that's our little birdies so I think um, what, I've, what I've concluded here is that we do need a really nice uh, blue colour for, um, for the sentiment so and I am inclined to use um, maybe a deeper blue even than the peacock feathers um, so just bear with because I have, um, do I have some in my scraps actually, let's have a look. So our bluebird blue is really very pretty and will go really quite nicely. But no, no, but no, you see I've convinced myself that I really, really want that peacock feathers. So I've got some card here that has already been a little bit um, st uh, stenciled on so I'm going to use that I'm going to grab my little uh, machine here let's get these cut out because we're trying to speed craft speed craft <laughs> we can do this so let's get that on there that one on there let's line these little guys up 
they're looking super cute so I wonder which one's going to be the favourite card of tonight's makes can we choose a favourite um, or is that just too mean hi Jackie hello everyone thank you for coming back and finding me um, these things happen it wouldn't be me if I didn't have a, a little technical issue would it let's be honest so let's get these little guys through here now the great thing about our sentiment is that um, we can run that through this smaller die cutting machine as well so let's just pop him out and let's have a look see what he's gonna look very cute very very cute yes like it do you like that and I think that just that them being a little bit of a brighter colour just helps them pop out from the background a little bit and helps them stand out. Um, so let's grab this wonderful peacock feathers. And I'll just move that up there so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to really add a really deep layer of this peacock feather so I'm really adding quite a bit of pressure when I'm um, adding the ink so I'm not being subtle at all so I want a really good deep coverage here and the more you go over your uh, distress inks the better they blend so the more colour you add the better that colour becomes so and I'm going to add try and cover as much of this as possible because I'm going to cut a few layers out um, not that they need to be in the same colour because they really actually don't because you won't see it but um, that's looking really great. I love this colour. So let's grab our sentiment and we'll pop that on there. I'm going to cut this piece down so we can definitely use that again. And grab my washi and my little machine. So this might not have been a 15 minute card, but I think we're doing quite well. Maybe it'll be a, like um, a 45 minute card. <laughs> That's good for me though, as you know. So we've got this lovely word to celebrate. Now let's have a look on our card. Just a few bits that need popping out there. So let's have a look on our card. What do we think? Or do we think that that's not going to stand out enough? What do we think? Oh, I quite like it, you know. I quite like it. Because the, the alternative was to do it black. That would really stand out, wouldn't it? Or we could do it in white, but I felt that that might fade into the background a little bit. So I am just going to grab a bit of black cardstock here. You can never find the piece that you want, can you? I've got so many bits. So many bits. Oh, that one looks like that could be right sort of length let's try a black one it's cute isn't it I do like it the 
again, because we, you know, it, the thing is, is that don't don't worry about this. You know, if you're like me, I'm very indecisive. These are just bits of card at the end of the day, and you can use this on a different a different project if you decide not to use it on this one. So, what about um, black? Hmm. Annalisa has just used this celebrate die cut sentiment on the inside of a card and loves it thank you so um, I feel like the black might be a bit too dark what about if we used it as a shadow um, I'm not sure about that either hmm Yes, you see, you were on the same wavelength as me, Annalisa, only I did it the other way around. Um, so let's try your way with the black on top of the blue. So um, Angie likes the blue with the black as the shadow, or we've got the black with the blue as the shadow think maybe the other way around is better the blacks a little bit too in your face isn't it but is is it gonna be better with the white so I'm gonna be building these up so don't worry that we're doing a lot of die cutting here um, because I am gonna be adding layers to this anywho so this isn't um, an issue um, that we're doing it a few times. So we're going to need to do it a few times on the hill. So the white um, here, I feel like this white might have got a little bit of a tinge of blue to it actually along the top, but I'm not sure that matters. So I'm just giving a little little bit of encouragement to get some of those little bits out so let's remove the black so we've got this the white just on its own which might be a little bit lost on that background or we have it as the drop shadow and I think that might be the winner because that goes with the white of our background that little bit better and it just stands out a little bit so I am going to cut another one um, and then I think this will this will be ready for construction so yeah the white definitely um, works a little bit better doesn't it Annalisa so let's I just love the the delicate script of this um, this die works really really well for something like this so let's just poke out some of these pieces and then we can do a bit of, a bit of layering move all of my mess okay so them to one side my my black celebrate <coughs> excuse me I can save we can use that on another project this I'm gonna pop up again with some of our larger tape um, and then that will give us a really nice bit of dimension I'm gonna start in the middle this time <laughs> I want to make sure that we have got plenty of support on the back of this card. There we go. So, is anybody watching the tennis? Does anybody watch the um, the Wimbledon? Um, I don't uh, have to say, and I haven't really been watching any of the football. Although, did anyone see the England game? Um, that was very exciting. Um, I only tend to watch um, the England matches 
um, which I think, you know, a lot of us probably do um, that aren't like really avid watchers. So I'm going to tip him that way and tip him that way, I think. Yeah. And celebrate in the middle. So let's start adhering. Oh, um, I love tennis and Wimbledon, but sadly no cable. So you can't get it in um, in Canada then. Oh, that's that's a shame. You're quite an Anglophile, aren't you, um, Annalisa? You, um, your mum was Brit is is British, um, so. Um, oh dear, I think my. Come on, there's got to be a little bit left in there. So you've got a lot of um, English um, influence in, in your life, haven't you? Um, while she was uh, around. So um, I think that that uh, definitely shows um, in your, your interests, <laughs> which is really cool. Um, you, um, you cheer for Italy in the soccer. It's so interesting it being called soccer as well, um, everywhere else. <laughs> um, so I just pop that on there. Now I have put the one that's got the little blue tinge in it on, on the top, which I didn't mean to do. But we're not really going to see that because when I applied this, so this is the bit that is going to be the trickiest, is applying this with a little bit of shadow. So I'm going to apply my adhesive to my coloured piece um, and then um, I can manoeuvre it where I want on top of the white piece and you won't see any glue on the back for where it's not adhered. So if I did it the other way round you would probably see the glue um, that I had that I wasn't you know that I missed if you know what I mean so um, that looks like a good spot so you want to make sure enough of it is adhered to the um, the background so that it's got support but you also need to be able to see enough of the shadow as well behind otherwise there's no point it being there so and those three layers look good Italian Papa and English Mum. The funny thing is she stopped watching Curry a few years ago um, and you still watch it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, that is funny. I don't, I'm English and I don't watch Curry, I have to say. Um, I haven't watched it for years. Um, I used to watch EastEnders like religiously. Um, it was a thing. But no, not so much now. Oh, I've got a question for anybody out there. Um, does anybody watch Love Island? <laughs> because that's what we're into in this house at the moment. Um, we're, I think we're a, a couple of episodes behind. So we've been watching it um, as and when Ant can, um, can watch um, in between his shifts and so on. So we're, we are a little bit behind, but we do, we do love it. Now, where did I put my, um, my film pads? I thought I had some of the film pads out, but maybe I tidied up. Look at me tidying up. Most unheard of. Let's have a look. I've tidied up so well I can't find them. Oh, I've knocked them on the floor, that's why. There we go. I knew I hadn't tidied them up that well. So let's, um, I think I'm going to have to cut, cut these down a tad, there we go, and then that one on there, and then do we want some just on the little, the little tail portions, Ooh, there we go. So let me just move into screen for you. Still not used to my new um, camera position, am I? 
I can feel there's going to be a cat meow coming up anytime soon. I can hear him running up the stairs with his three legs. Oh, he's, he's not happy. I can hear him in the background. So now we can add our little guy on there. And that other little guy on the bottom there. Oh, very cute. And I feel like these now need like a little secondary statement. So let me just grab my um, pre-printed sentiments here, which are so helpful and so handy in a situation like this. So, um, do, 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 do. we've got celebrate. You make me smile. Um, wishing you lots of luck. Can't thank you enough. You got this. Um, you are my hero. Hey, friend. Let's have a look. Congrats. Congrats might be a good one. Or hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses is a good one. There's so there's so many in here. Um, that look, that might be quite cool with the little hugs and kisses. Or I do quite like the idea of the congrats actually, because if I'm doing this for a um, perhaps for a wedding um, or an engagement, congrats would work very well, wouldn't it? So let's, sadly, yes, um, is Love Island an English show? Yes, it is. Um, Angie says she doesn't watch Coriostenders um, and God no to, um, to Love Island. <laughs> oh, Angie, you've disappointed me. Or is it me that's disappointed you? <laughs> um, right, I'm going to use my tonic trimmer just to trim this down. Um, so you may not be able to see this because um, I have to have it very close to me so I can see what I am, what I is doing. So I'm just lining that up. I think it, the reason that we like it, obviously, there's always a bit of drums, a bit of drama, but also you know it's just. Beautiful people in sunshine um, just makes us, just gives us a little bit of hope for sunshine at some point. <laughs> um, so yeah, we do like, we do like that. Gives us, it gives us holiday vibes. I'm just going to use my scissors just to trim that down. And I feel like I probably wanted that a little bit closer. Dare I use my scissors? It is small enough for me to be able to get this right, I'm sure. And I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers paper scissors because they are super cool for this kind of thing. And then the congrats can go under there as my secondary statement. Um, not perfectly straight by the looks of things. Do we care? No. I'm going to say no. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use some of my shaker tape here. This is the Type T shaker tape. I'm going to pop that on the back of there for a bit of uh, dimension. And we're almost there, guys. Almost. And go just under there that's cute I think that just finishes it off I can never cut them straight no I can't I'm never I can never cut anything straight you know this you know this about me so some of my little clear drops here are gonna be absolutely perfect on the back of here I always have to do a little bit of bling and a little bit of embellishment it's just it's just me I don't do 
um, totally clean and, and simple as you know it's just not not my way is it so we'll just have a little bit under there um, and a slightly larger one just down there and that looks kind of cute happy with that placement so again my glossy accents are coming out these are probably one of my most favourite embellishments. Um, we are running low on them, I think, in the shop. So I'm going to have to put an order in for some more. Um, because I do adore them. I'm just going to use my pulpy tool just to encourage it to come off my quick sticks tool. Um, the great thing about the glossy accents is obviously it does dry clear. It works as an adhesive as well as um, for you being able to add glaze to your projects. We actually have something similar in the shop, which is a lacquer. Um, you might have seen it. So we don't, we haven't been able to get hold of the, any, any of the glossy accents for love and money. Um, it is has been impossible to get during lockdown certainly for me anyway i don't know if anybody else has had the same issues but um we did find um some really cool cosmic shimmer lacquer which um is very very similar does the similar sort of job um and is very cool adds a glaze to your um images um but also um you can use it as um, an adhesive as well i believe because they obviously they, they have got adhesive qualities to them because of the the way that the glaze works. So I think that's turned out quite cool and wasn't too long, was it really? Um so yes, Louise, I think we do have one or two of them in stock. I'm really Sorry, my assistant isn't available to add the link. Uh, maybe if one of the girls are on, they could find the link. I know some of them will have probably exited to bed. Um, and I don't blame them because I think that might be where I'm off to. I did have an idea that I might carry on doing some crafting tonight. Um, some other crafting, but... Maybe not tonight. Tonight might be a good opportunity to have a bit of a rest day. <laughs> um, there we go. So, um, yeah, a few little highlights for, for our little birdies there. And I think that that is finished. Um, they're called... Um, clear drops they're in the embellishment section of the shop oh are they sold out oh no i'm so sorry guys I, I know i do need to um have a look for them um we do have the raindrops but not the clear ones yes that's right that sounds about right so we have two cards card number one and card number two our mini slim line and then our little um, celebrate card with our stencil background. And I think that, you know, they're obviously both very, very different, but I think they've both turned out really, really cute. Um, so I hope that we've been able to um, give you a bit of inspiration this evening. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the um, extended live uh, because like Annalisa said, uh, I couldn't stop. Um, once I'd once I'd promised you um, a time though I don't like to finish early I'd rather stay in a little bit longer and then like I say um, you uh, you can always watch the replay if you're not able to watch um, at the time so um, so I'm, I think I'm gonna leave it at that now I think I'm gonna quit now while I'm ahead um, thank you so much guys for watching and for joining me tonight um, it's been loads of fun um, pictures of these will be up on um, our uh, social media tomorrow and you'll be able to watch the, the replay um, shortly after the live is finished. So 
thank you so much guys and i'll see you again really really soon see you soon bye bye